I get anxious. a little anxious. Have you been in a lava tube before? I don't really know. I don't think so. The one guy, I think his name was Gary. Gary said to Todd, he said, Todd, what is this? And Todd said, this is Sparta. If you're in Grants, New Mexico, somewhere nearby, and you're looking for something different to do. You can't miss it. There's signs every like five miles. Yeah. Two days ago, it was sunny and 70 and 80 degrees. Beautiful weather for like two or three days in a row. What happened, Colorado? <laughs> Why is it snowing? We did not plan on the snow drive today between like Denver and... Colorado Springs. Raton, Raton. Raton, New Mexico. That's where we're going. Yes. That RV is covered in snow. <laughs> Unicorn Wars drive again. We found this in his uh, seat this morning. She's cute. I don't know her name yet. I haven't named her because she's mine. Right. She's my... That's why I said I don't know her name yet. But I'm going to use her as my little wooba going up and down the mountain pass coming up. Because I get a little anxious. Anxiety. So yeah, she has a little anxiety about passes. If you've been watching us, Corbin and I have an ongoing unicorn war. Uh, things like this have come up. That he bought this for me. His birthday um, cake. We'll show you a picture in the So Corbin's screen. birthday cake this year was a beautiful unicorn. Ice cream cake. Ice cream cake. And then we had some small things. And then I thought I, thought I nailed 2021 at my friend's house, or at our friend's house, when I talked his daughter into painting a unicorn on his face when he thought he was gonna be uh, a Getting tiger. Getting a Chinese tiger. <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I think I won the unicorn war, look at me. Come on. It looks cool. It actually looks really cool. It's I really don't good like job. it, it looks like I have a golden turn on my head. <laughs> <laughs> and then this morning, I opened up the truck door to get into Mando, and this, Beautiful abomination white stallion <laughs> lady. Lady, there. do you and your kids have a uh, little contest like this to see who can, I don't know, out embarrass the other one or be more creative? Hi, I'm Susanna. And I'm Chris. And we're coming to you from the Ice Caves and Bandera Volcano. We're actually standing inside of a, of a collapsed lava tube right now, this, as I speak. This lava tube is the Bandera Lava Tube, and it is the longest in North America at 17 and a half miles. So that's about, I don't know, 20 minute drive southwest of Grant, New Mexico, Grants, New Mexico on Highway 53. So you're actually gonna drive through El, I can't pronounce it. El, Ma El Malpas. Which is Pace. Spanish for the Badlands. So we're kind of in the Badlands again. In the Badlands, Badlands. Go check out that video, she loves that <laughs> song. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we came out here, this is our first 
stop in the area. The ice caves and the, and the volcano, it's about an hour, hour and a half uh, if you do both, which you should do. It's $12 for adults, $6 for kids, and it's really worth it. I mean, this is my first lava tube. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Have you been in a lava tube before? I don't really know. I don't think so. This is our first lava tube together? Yep. So they also have a little store, a little museum. Um, they have a little restaurant, cafe kind of deal. Restrooms. Picnic restrooms. areas outside. We've got to have the restrooms. restroom is scary. <laughs> Only because they have a big, tall, um, I don't know if it's a cowboy yeah. or if it's an Indian, with a hat standing in the corner right when you come around the corner to the restrooms. You're like... With a turkey vulture. Yeah. Or some type of crazy dead bird. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Dad. I, now I actually, I didn't have to go to the bathroom, but now I do because that guy just scared the pee out of me. So it's a great stop. And now we're going to take you on the rest of the hike to the volcano and back. Yep. So this is one of the, the numbered markers. So what is number 11? Wow. Look at that. A surge of hot air rushes through the lava, forming surface tubes and minor vents. Do you know when they first found that spatter cone? And um, the one guy, I think his name was Gary. Gary said to Todd, he said, Todd, what is this? And Todd said, this is spatter. You don't like my jokes? You know, one of the great joys of being a, a dad is putting aside all of those dirty jokes that you learn as a kid and becoming a little bit softer and creative Stop it. Stop and it. making Stop dad it. jokes that Stop bring it. joy to the hearts of children and other fathers around Stop the globe. It. Stop it. So you're saying that there's bull snakes around here. Do you know how to tell the difference between a bull snake and other snakes? Oh. The horns. I thought it was the balls. It's not a ball snake. My wife, mom jokes are so dirty. <laughs> this is lava, right? Yes. Do you know the appropriate greeting for lava? Hello, lava. Hello, lava. It's our anniversary today. It's our 11th anniversary, which is the, our, the steel anniversary. The steel anniversary. Um, wanted to find something nice to do, and Susanna decided she wanted to do a hike. That's easy, that's great. And then tonight for dinner, we're having KOA dinner. Pizza. Well, Corbin's having pizza, but they have a, um, a barbecue plate. Yep. And then they have fruits of the forest pie. Fruits of the forest which pie. Which is a really good rhubarb pie with other mixed fruit in it. Yep. Did you say barbecue? Yeah, they have yeah, a barbecue, they have barbecue plate. plate. Yep. So, well, we can decide when we get there. But that's our, that's our anniversary. I think we're coming to the wow. volcano. Yep. Yep. Bandera Crater Lookout Point. Bandera Crater is the largest volcano in the region. It erupted around 10,000 years ago. The molten lava reaches temperatures above 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Bandera's lava flow is nearly two or 23 miles long. This crater is nearly 1,400 feet wide at the top and roughly 800 feet deep. The elevation to look at at this point is 8,000. 36 feet. So at the ice caves and the, the volcano, there's two things, right? You have the ice caves and a volcano. So the trail, when you leave the, I guess it's the visitor center, the, the training post, uh, you can go either one first. So if you go to the volcano, you can either go back to the training post and down the ice cave, or you can do kind of a shortcut, which they call a Jeep trail. It's just kind of a dash mark on the map. I'll see if I got a picture of it for you here. But it saves you a little bit of time. So instead of doing a back and forth and back, you can just kind of do an out, a loop, and a back. There's lava tubes. And a twisted tree. There's all these twisted trees around here and they tell you don't take the twisted wood. And Susanna, because she's really smart, she kind of, well, why, how are they twisted? How does this happen? 
I don't know. I imagine it's because the trees are trying to come up through the lava rock and the lava rock's really strong. So they kind of have to ch -ch 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 to get their way up. Which makes total sense to me. Is that right? Do you know? Leave us a comment. Down below. The Anasazi Indian ruins. The circular stack of lava that you see in this area are Anasazi Indian ruins. If you look carefully, you can see these stacks of lava rocks forming a wall in front of the small cave. The insulating properties of the lava made for an ideal shelter. The ancient artifacts displayed in the trading post were found in the ancient ruins such as this. The artifacts were found in the 1940s and 50s. Greens and oranges that you see on the lava are lichen and moss. The moss here is an alpine moss and is very rare this far south. The scaly looking green and orange growth is the lichen. The temperature in this cave never gets above 31 degrees Fahrenheit. The, the floor of the ice is approximately 20 feet thick. The deepest ice is the coldest and dates back 3400 years. The green tint is caused by an arctic algae. The back wall was formed in the early days when ancient Indians and early settlers mined the ice. The cause of the original formation of ice 3,400 years ago is not certain. However, perpetuation of the ice is due to a combination of existing conditions that make a natural ice box. 20 feet of ice in a well insulated cave shaped to trap frigid air. The ice cave was known to the Pueblo Indians as the Winter Lake. Did we solve the riddle? Maybe so. Did no it's number three. Ancient twisted trees. The trees growing in lava find it hard to establish deep roots. The results are that the trees grow to be twisted and gnarled. Also, the shallow roots fail to support the trees in the strong winds. You can see several fallen trees along the trails. Yet, the lava protected many trees from the loggers in the early days. The tree that you see about 25 yards off the trail with the yellow ribbon is believed to be among the oldest living Douglas fir trees in New Mexico. It's approximately 700 years old. Where's the yellow ribbon? It's right there. Oh. oh. <laughs> Darn. So correction, there's no cafe. There's no cafe. There isn't, but there is a place to you can get some drinks and ice cream and whatnots, and there's some tables inside as well as tables outside. Yep. So great little place if you're in Grants, New Mexico, somewhere nearby, and you're looking for something different to do. You can't miss it. There's signs every like five miles. Yeah. There's like a, a cave or a miner on top of a volcano. It's it's kind of unique. So. Yeah. Anyway, great stop. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that uh, subscription the notification, and the notification bell. bell so you know when our next video or blog is coming out. Yeah. And what are they supposed to remember? Hop on. Life's an adventure. Hop on. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.